Hey, how's it going? Dave 2D here. Day two of CES, and if you thought yesterday's footage was bad and grainy, be prepared because today's is even worse. So I got to check with the Razer Suite, and that's an extra dark room, so the footage is just really grainy. I've been filming this on phones. The first thing I want to talk about is their thing called Project Linda. This thing looks out of this world. They're using the Razer phone and placing it into this chassis to create this really impressive device. Like, I don't even know how to describe this thing. It's kind of like a laptop, but it uses the phone. There's like, there's no internals of this laptop to give it processing capabilities. It's literally, the phone is powering everything. I mean, there's a battery in there and it's got a screen, but all the processing power and the touchpad comes from the Razer phone, it's crazy. So the phone turns into a touchpad. The moment you drop it in and the connector plugs in, we have a fully functional device. So this thing is just running the Android software on the phone and you use the screen of the Razer phone as a touchpad. Now, as of this moment, there's no developers that have created custom software for this thing. But the idea is that you have your program running on the main screen, like the regular Razer Blade Stealth screen. I think it's got 13 inch screen. And then on the screen of the Razer phone, you can use it as a touchpad or the developers can put a custom UI on there. So if you're using something like Lightroom or just an Adobe product, you'll be able to see the settings and different controls in there. Or if you're playing a game, like you can see the UI or different skills or potions or just an inventory, whatever it is, there's just a lot of potential for this hardware combination. So in theory, you could just carry your Razer phone around. And then for people that need a little bit more computing, capabilities or they want a keyboard they can just connect it up into this device and then use a mouse to navigate around it's obviously a prototype and it's obviously something that they're just testing the waters with I think it's just well executed considering how early in the development process this thing is so they call it project Linda and I have no idea when it's gonna come out or even if it will come out but I really feel like the concept is cool and they're not the first people to do this but they're definitely the first people that I've seen to do it well and to actually have it executed so seamlessly and the other thing that's really cool is the mechanism that comes in and out of the device to plug into the phone like this is just a prototype but it works so well I think everyone that got to play with this thing was really impressed by that particular hardware mechanism okay another thing they announced was this new mouse so we've seen inductive charging on mice from Logitech and other companies but this one's a little bit different this mouse has no battery inside it's a very lightweight mouse and it can hold the charge for maybe like five ten seconds the moment you pull it off the mat but the idea behind this thing is to have this really lightweight high performance mouse that uses an optical sensor that's completely wireless. They call it the Razer Mamba Hyperflux and the mouse pad that it's on actually has an interchangeable surface. So you can have a hard surface or you flip it over and you have this nice cloth surface depending on the preference of your mouse pad. But two really cool products from Razer. I'm particularly interested in Project Linda. I just really want to see how far Razer can take that thing because the idea of it is really cool on paper. It's unfortunate that it's like a single device that can work with that chassis. So only the Razer phone will fit into that thing. But just the idea of having a phone that can connect into a chassis and then that device becomes essentially a laptop is really cool, especially with how powerful the CPUs and the hardware inside smartphones are getting. Like we've seen benchmarks. This stuff is equivalent to laptop performance. So yeah, I think the idea of it is really neat. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.